and thought. He's been sitting over there very quietly. Thank you, Paula. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. There we go. We're on a special occasion. You know, um, when you're sitting in a ceremony like this, your mind can think about all kinds of things. And as I'm sitting here, um, I think about the purpose of what we're doing here today in honoring that commitment to those who served our country. You know, they all took an oath when they entered to defend and obey the Constitution of the United States. But at that same time, what a grateful nation is supposed to do is to back them up, to honor their service, and to remember their service. Now, what I really love to hear about this year's program is actually listening to Paula tell a background about each of these servicemen and the, and the, and the young ladies who were here. And when you listen to what they talked about, each and every one of them, what I found amazing is you, she connected every single thing they do to a point in history that we relied on our servicemen and women to defend freedom and protect our country and to keep peace throughout the world. And when you're out there today, there are stories just like you heard of each and every one of them. There's stories, there's someone's sons and daughters. They graduated from some high school. They were involved in some sport. They had loved ones. And keep that in your heart when you're standing in front of that and you're saying their name out of remembrance and thanking them for their service. That there's a story behind each and every one of them. It's a commitment that we made. I want to say a special thank you to the Peckway Valley community in general. I get to go to these kind of events throughout the years and to see the example that you are setting is one that I wish we could go around all over Lancaster County, all across Pennsylvania and show how you're saying thank you and how you're honoring them. Because what's always most impressive, and a few years back, I remember who was here in the pouring monsoon out in the park, if everyone remembers that a few years back. <laughs> and they remember. What's staggering is the number of young people that are here, involved, holding the flags, laying a reef, here to listen. Because these stories to be carried forward into history is that you need a continual torch to pass that along to. And that is part of honoring our commitment. That is part of honoring them so that their stories of who they were, what they did for us are never forgotten. So for all you young people who are here today and you hear the importance of these stories, and you're sitting here so patiently listening and ready to go out and help lay a wreath, we need you, as you're getting older, to keep doing this. And someday you're gonna be mommies and daddies and get your kids involved. That's what's special about what I am seeing here today. So thank you to the Peckway Valley community, to all you veterans that are here today who have served, this day is really important, but I have one thing I want to ask of everyone in this room before we see you again next year. Paula laid out some really grim statistics. If I were to tell you that we lose more veterans to suicide at a rate four times greater than we actually lost people in a war, there are people who come back from serving this country who have seen things, experienced things, that none of us can ever imagine, and that can be very difficult. I have some in my own family. How do we support them? How do we connect them to services? And if you come across a brother or sister 
who has served with you to those veterans, please point them to us. We want to make sure they have access to supports. We want to make sure they have access to services. We have partnerships with our federal VA and service officers who actually come here right down the street in Strasburg to line folks up if they really need it. That is the charge that I give to all of you is you're remembering those that have gone before us today, but think in your heart in this, in this season of giving over the next year, what can we do as individuals and families to remember them for those who are here still with us and to keep them here with us? So God bless this community. Thank you for what you're doing here today. Thank you to all our veterans, and God bless America.